I'm a computer engineer by profession. Uh, out of a uh, college, fresh student, uh, my first job that I got was a computer program, as most of the students, at least in my hometown, Tijuana. Uh, but then, after a couple of months, uh, I felt that I really was not passionate about my job. I was, I was just looking at the clock, you know, 6 p.m., just looking to get out of the office and do what I actually like, which is actually not related at all, at all with machine learning. Uh, I, was, uh, I was working as a mechanic back then. Uh, but then I, I felt that I really need to go like a little bit beyond my career uh, and then I quit my job and went back to school to do a master's and I picked natural language processing because I liked the Iron Man movie when he talks with his computer and I thought it was super super cool and I was like oh I probably might like to do something like that in the future and that led me to the PhD in artificial intelligence and I need uh, a place to actually test my, the algorithm that I was designing and Kaggle was a perfect uh, spot for that. So I started competing in Kaggle by, uh, to test my algorithm and that actually got me a job later. I think uh, the first one that I remember it, it was the Microsoft uh, malware classification. It was like a three, four years ago and that actually that's uh, my favorite competition so far. And it was very interesting to me because I was very, I, was a, I had a very limited um, processing power. And that competition was, I think, like 800 gigabytes of plain text. So it was very, it was impossible to load in memory even if I had a very powerful computer. And I did all the feature engineering online with the parts that I wrote, and it was super fun. Definitely will be Scikit-Learn because it can uh, provide everything you need. Uh, I will use uh, XGBoost because I had, it is my preferred library over like LightGBM things like that, uh, and probably Keras because uh, the deep learning it's, it's getting very popular. Uh, first, uh, well, X, XGBoost came uh, before, uh, so I was getting more used to it, and I also feel that GPU uh, training is faster for the um, XGBoost than LightGBM. At least in my experience. I work as a machine learning engineer for Instacart, and as part of my job, I need to do a lot of uh, like understanding of uh, the process and how to be able to communicate to like different stakeholders that I not be technical. That is a huge challenge for me uh, to improve my communication skills. Oh, that definitely sent under a competition three years ago. Uh, I think I was doing 20 or 19 on the public, and I end up 1600 something on the private. That was painful. Uh, I still believe in my solution. I think the difference between my score and the gold area was like a 0 .002 AUC. Uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't feel that was overfitting. I see the good question. Good question. Uh, let me think about it. I think recently people have been posting a lot of about adversarial validation. Now, I think it's uh, very interesting, especially for Kaggle, when someone else is uh, the one who decides how this uh, test, uh, training test split is gonna be. Usually at war you have more flexibility or you will, you yourself will be the one building the test that you have more confidence. But in Kaggle I think it becomes a very important technique that you should always use. Probably Boyan. Boyan, uh, we, we became uh, huge friends because actually he recruited me for my, face, uh, for my first job here in the US. Uh, we actually worked together, like sitting next to each other for one year and a half. And we, we didn't cheat, but we exchanged a lot of ideas in Kaggle and uh, you know, exchanged experience for previous competitions. So, and he's usually very useful on the, on the forums. He posts a lot and he's very active in the platform. Recently, I think uh, leakage has been an interesting situation. Uh, I usually don't like to like search for that kind of stuff. If I see something that should not be important, I usually don't look for it. But I think uh, it is important to start to develop some more insights into looking for that, that kind of uh, leakage. Definitely meeting the community. Uh, so for this past four and a half years that I've been in Kaggle, I've been like chatting and exchanging um, knowledge with so many people that I, we never met and it just uh, getting there and meeting them in person is an amazing experience.